So a little while back, I picked up this really shitty power drill at the recycling center for free. It was buried under a bunch of electronics junk. But I think it's the perfect candidate for a supercapacitor upgrade. Plus, if we blow it up, who cares? I can just take it back. Okay, so I think we can mostly get away with this modification just by tackling the fucking battery. Oh my fucking god, are you shitting me? Really? Fuck you. As I said, we can work on getting to it just by messing with the battery. Because really all I want is this little connector right here. Although I'm probably going to rip these little latches off because I don't need those. As I suspected, nickel cadmium batteries. Crap. Total crap. I'm really liking these little like cutter things that I've gotten. They're a good purchase. Since these have holes on them with like conductor pads around them or however they be called, I've decided to go with these, although these are a bit too big. But I think they should allow for modularity, if that's the right term, so I can move stuff around if I need. There, now it is locked in place. Well, at least a little bit. Oh, fuck you. There we go. I just ran out to the hardware store and picked up some bolts. So, theoretically, I should be able to just connect these onto here. Well, 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 check this out. I don't have any batteries besides my Nissan Leaf batteries, but due to me hooking this up, it should work. Or not. What the fuck? Piece of Chinese shit. Now it's just a matter of charging. Whoa. Something let out the smoke. Well, now, it looks like we have a bad supercapacitor. Okay, let's try this again. So I finally have this piece of shit mostly working. Let's see how many screws it can screw into wood with one charge. Then again, maybe not. I've pretty much had it tonight. Shitty fucking tool will give you a shitty fucking day. Don't get me wrong, it was free. But now I know to sometimes not get a power drill if it's free. 
because like up till now I've never had really any issues. Usually I rip them apart, tinker with them a little bit, and they last a little bit. I have some fun and then I throw them away. But this one just didn't last at all. This video has been totally derailed and I feel like starting over, but perhaps I can salvage this this footage to be a, a nice reminder of how it's always the little things that can compound and uh, can build upon each other and just fuck you over in the end. Because normally I have, like, every single video usually has this type of stuff where I'm just spending time, like, fixing little things. But rarely to this extent, where it's just six hours of just fucking with little things. I mean, it's not like a total fail, but it's it's a failure of getting this video done. But it's success at getting the next one better, so when I try a second time it'll be better because, for instance, I wasted a lot of time fucking around with these stupid little supercapacitors. They're wonderful if they want to work, but if they don't want to cooperate, they're your worst enemy. And finding that one that doesn't want to work is always kind of a, a pain in the butt. But now at least I have one supercapacitor bank that is working fine. So whenever I try to do this over again, because I, I definitely want to do this, this video, I think it'd be very cool. And people might like... People might want to, might enjoy experimenting with a supercapacitor power drill, I and mean, maybe I could expand in other stuff. But yeah, like usually I kind of treat this. I mean, usually this this stage only lasts like maybe an hour or so, and I do it before a video. Although there was also that before this video of me messing around with little things and trying to get little things to work, and so. Usually what happens is I kind of have some tinkering time where I tinker with stuff. Like if I'm, do if, like if I'm doing a review of something, or not a review, if I'm, if I'm opening something up, I'll usually open it up just to peek inside to, to have an idea of what's inside, sometimes. And then I'll close it back up, and then I'll, I'll start the video. I don't look too much, but I just like want to see, like, oh, there's a circuit board in here or something like that. And other times when I'm actually building something, then... I kind of mess around with like, oh, I try to hook, hook the thing up to a battery or something and try to get it to work before I use it, unlike I did here. Or I try to, you know, I, I spend some time tinkering setting up a video. And I, I thought I was over that tinkering time. Turned out to be the entire video was tinkering time. But yeah, so the second time I do it, I'll have a better understanding of power drills. I'll have a better understanding of how shitty power drills can be. I didn't realize they were that shit sometimes. Like most I guess I've just been pretty lucky that some of the the ones that I've that I've had have been mostly okay. Probably before the second video or before I try to re redo this video, I'll probably just go ahead and check all these ones too so I can I just, I just know for a fact that I have two working capacitor banks. Well, that's pretty much it. It's like 1.45 in the morning. I'm really tired and really fucking agitated by this. Just like all these little itty bitty little fucking problems. So I'm going to end it there. And tomorrow I'll, I'll see about digging around because I think I have a somewhat nice power drill laying around. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in any way you possibly can. Maybe even learn from it. I don't know. And... Ah, oh, fuck. I, I, I messed up my ending thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.